hi, good morning. Sorry if we're a minute late. I, we're having a little bit of an internet connection issue here this morning. But uh, Amy is with me from Favored Nest. And as I've been discussing all week, this is the... Uh, the table that I painted red and put a top coat on and then I went ahead because I couldn't control myself and put some dark wax around the edges but I think you can see here in the picture how the center part is still red without any of the dark I saved that for today for putting on the stencil and Amy is here you want to go back from that side then you'll have a uh, Hi. Uh, Amy is with Favored Nest here in Derrida, Louisiana, but she also has uh, a website and a Facebook page, and so you can look up, what is, is it, at Favored uh, Favorednest.com. Uh, or Favorednest.com. Yeah, and Facebook. is it on Facebook, is it at Favored Nest? Mm -hmm. Okay, or at Favored Nest on her uh, Facebook page. And did you make this for us? We cut this stencil this morning, actually. Wow. And I <laughs> I'm a procrastinator. Um, um, I went ahead and weeded out the part of the design that we're gonna paint and um, put the transfer tape over it. So that's this white layer that's on top. That's what's gonna help us stick it down. Oh, awesome. But it's ready to go. Awesome. Fingers crossed that <laughs> this works out good. What type of cutting machine do you have? I have a, I think it's called an SC2 from US Cutter. It's a commercial 34 oh, awesome. inch cutter. And let me show you the difference cutter. once she gets that off. Remember last week my fail? This is like cut on a silhouette using the Cricut paper that I paid way too much for. <laughs> and this is where I had the rolled up, wadded up fail last week. So there is a whole lot of difference between well, that. We're going to try to not have a fail, but we'll see. I do. And, and it could happen. And, it could happen, yes. It, uh, happen. it happens. <laughs> it happened to me this week, actually. So we will see, and we'll see how you recover for that. And if we cry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just worried for Miss Terry's pretty table that she's hey, got painted. So paint. We can paint back over she it. She can sand it and yeah. repaint it, but yep, I'm going to hate it right. if it doesn't work out. But we'll, um, we're going to try. So first This is thing, really thick, too. This is a special paper you <clears> use. That's just the... Uh, trying to remember. Oh, that's the paper that the vinyl... I mean, do you use a vinyl or do you use like a stencil vinyl? It's a stencil vinyl. Okay. It's a... Uh, yeah, mine too, but... Aura Mask 813, I think is what awesome. I use. Yeah, stencil film 813. I couldn't remember the number. <laughs> so apparently it does make a difference when you use it good does, materials. It um, does, because <laughs> when I first started, I only had my small cutter. Um, I have a brother scan and cut also. I mean, I still okay. have it, but... Yeah. Um, and I, tr I tried it with several different kinds of vinyl and I had... Sometimes it works, sometimes it wouldn't. But this one, yeah, this is pretty much awesome. been almost foolproof. <laughs> Knock on wood. All right, so we're gonna pull the paper backing off, and the goal is to not pick up any of the blue. So we're gonna go slow, um, watching for any little pieces of blue to stick to the paper. And if it does, we're just gonna push it back down and uh, keep keep going. So let's see if I can bring y'all any closer to that. I'll lean over. There we go. Okay. So, so far so good. Now, so see how this is sticking right here on the um, paper? So we're just gonna push it down and keep lifting. There's the inside of a D right there. We're gonna push that one back oh, down. Good catch. And here's a difference too that she knows how to do that I don't know how to do. I had to go through mine, if you can see this, and I had to specifically put little cuts in there that have that traditional stencil look where you're like, oh, I don't wanna paint that, that's ugly. Then you have to go in and hand do that. So this is a, definitely a... So you gotta watch the inside of some of the letters. Like there's a little tiny triangle for the inside of the A. So we make sure that's down. But usually it comes off pretty pretty good. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> I didn't mark any marks on this table. We're I guess gonna go with the uh, using 
the lines that are on the table, like this is definitely the center of the table. So that's gonna center us that way. And I thought I was being all neat and square with my center part. So I don't know if Amy usually measures um, whenever I'm I measure. I'm usually an eyeball. Okay, I'm not <laughs> <measure>. <laughs> say I, I, uh, I, I probably own a thousand tape measures and can never find one at any given time. I measure with pieces of paper and dollar bills. Okay, that's right, so fabulous. Uh, so take a minute. She found a little A that where the center triangle part wasn't. Where it's it a little wasn't, crooked. Yeah, so I'm gonna straighten that up. So take a second to look it over. And uh, I think it's good. It looks <laughs> um, awesome. So to which me. way are we? Um, Is there a it, it doesn't matter. I think because the table can face either way. Just in the like in the center with you know with the words going this way so we're going to do the short part this way and the long part that way okay and the somewhere along in here <laughs> is the center okay. this was, is a pretty large stencil um so i'm being careful with it but i'm going to hold it kind of in a u where it doesn't have any weird wrinkles in it um the blue the stencil is cut a rectangle around it so that is straight so we know that that's straight and since you're standing at the end I guess you can kind of guide me um, well, this is the definitely blue. the center and okay. then here should be sort of the where am I at right around in here should be like the center of the end of the blue part okay. to be yeah that should be pretty dang close and does it look straight and on your side let's see. like fr <laughs> from uh, one eye that works <laughs> like the from the end I think like it's so. not like that or that? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Okay. So I still kind of have that U, and I'm going to drop it in the center, and then we're going to smooth it out. I was really worried about having these ridges in here and what kind of mess I might make, and Amy doesn't worry about those kind of things. So <laughs> that so, happens with confidence, So I'm going too. with it. I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, going to start in the center and just smooth out this one side. You don't really want any bubbles in it, so. And then we're gonna carefully lay this one down. I think we did pretty good with the awesome. centering. <laughs> if we didn't, we'd have just moved the table sideways <laughs> and pretended. <laughs> so, um, okay, it feels like it's sticking pretty good. So awesome. I've never stenciled on the paint that Miss Terry sells here in the shop that she used on the table. I, this is my first time, so I have my fingers crossed that everything goes according uh, to plan. Dixie Bell Honky Tonk Red, which has an acrylic base so that it uh, it does dry and not need a top coat, but I went back over with a top coat uh, on it as well, and then I tried to just wax up to leave us this 12 by 18 inch area here, so. Uh, and I think it's a little bit bigger because yeah. To keep it proportionate, when I did 12, it was only like eight inches tall. So uh, I, went a bit, <laughs> I went a little bigger, but yeah, that's we always okay. learn whether it's what to do or what not. <laughs> All to right, do. so now that it's down, um, we're gonna pull this top paper off. Um, she said, "How come this? How come this looks backwards to us?" Oh, I don't know <laughs> because actually she put the words facing y'all. Let me see. I think there's a button for it that. Might be. Um, just because the camera's reversed, so we can see the comp. The, um, yeah, so yeah, because I'm afraid if I turn that around, you're going to be looking at my ceiling. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> Hi, Margie. Uh, sorry about that. And, and I know that there's a button for this, but I'm afraid if I touch any button that we'll lose y'all. So please forgive us for the backwardness. Okay, so we're going to pull the top paper layer off slowly, just like we did the back. Again, we don't want any of the blue stencil to stick on the paper. Um, we want to make sure, and if it does start to lift, we're going to push it back down and kind of hold it and just go slow. Um, and I like to try to usually go at an angle because I think that tends to work better. Um, I think it's stuck pretty good, so I don't think we're going to have any issue. It feels like it's Gosh, stuck. it's so pretty. I'm not going to want to take it up. <laughs> Let's hope it's not stuck yeah. too well. <laughs> Because oh, that yeah, can be that, a problem, too. <laughs> that's uh, way, way better than the... Uh, okay, so oh, there's see, an A. See the little... You probably can't see it, but yeah, the little tiny piece of A that lifted... There. Um, well, 
me know. Now I've got it on silent mode, so we won't see your <laughs> comments. But she's. Uh, um, we're gonna just lay back down. Lean you forward a little. And there, it stuck that time. So I just needed a little extra push. Let's see if I can get the comments back. There we go. So we got it stuck back down. We're gonna keep going. I lost my inside of the A there too, so we're just gonna push it back down. And they're tiny, so that's why they're lifting a little bit. And I didn't even see it, so. Learning to pay attention. I don't know why I am so excited over this. <laughs> it is, it, it's, it's not like I never painted anything before or never, I, I am just so excited about this project. I don't know why I'm nervous other than messing up your pretty tabletop <laughs> if it doesn't work. That, that's where you always repaint. That's the fun of it too. Sometimes whenever I think there's a mistake like that, right. I have to totally repaint. <laughs> that was just leading us in the right direction. That looks good just like that. Maybe it shouldn't paint at all. <laughs> so it's down and I think it's stuck pretty dang good. So um, I usually just look into the light and make sure there's no air bubbles around any of the letters because that's where we're. Oh, yeah. That's where we're, we'll be painting. So we don't want it to, um, to bleed. But I don't think I see anything. Okay, so this table does have the grooves in it, like she was talking about. Um, and I told her we weren't going to worry about it. We're gonna, just going to stencil it like they weren't there. Um, we're not going to try to push the paint down into it. We're just going to go over the top. But then we may have to come back at the end with a little paintbrush. And, touch and you up. might kind of feel sure. in the okay. areas since they are pretty. I didn't know how wide or deep they were. But um, since they are pretty wide and deep. You may want to fill in with yeah. some paint. And it's, uh, we'll see how that looks at the end because we're going for a little bit of a distressed at right. the end anyway. So, so I, like some of the signs I do, I actually cut the grooves in to make it look kind of like shiplap. So they have grooves and I just stencil right over them like they're not even there and just leave it. But these are a little bit wider. So we'll see how it looks. But we may touch some of that up at the end after we take the stencil off. Okay. So I normally... And shame on me, but I, I, I cut this cheap paintbrush up and cut the tips off of it with some scissors, and that's normally what I stencil with. But I've uh, did some make and takes with Amy before, so I know that she uh, prefers <laughs> something different. So <laughs> either one should be okay. Um, I usually use these little makeup wedges, little cheap. Uh, triangle makeup wedges. Now, uh, do we need to go over this first with red or clear or anything before we go with our black? I usually do, um, as I have the red paint too. I, I usually do a coat of the first coat on the stencil the same as the background color. Um, and that's really to kind of seal in in case there's any little areas where it might bleed. Um, it's not a foolproof method to get rid of paint bleeds, but it does help. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, it, I think it's stuck pretty good, so you probably don't really need it on this table. I got the red. But, uh, does it dry real quick? Yeah, and I've got a little dry. You want to do like a just a really thin, we'll do yeah. a really thin coat of the red and then um, we'll go from there. Just to, is that, that's usually the method that we use. And I do that with this. Yeah, and we just do it with the sponge and just, we're just going to do a light, light coat of the red to seal the stencil. And then, you uh, dab it? Here, start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I usually use this part of the stencil where there's not Oh, that's smart to like offload. Any design to kind of offload the paint and then, so you just want like a really light, um, yeah, we're just going to pounce up and down and cover the whole thing. You don't want it to be thick because it'll take forever to dry. This probably should pretty much be dry by the time we get to the bottom, yeah. the top will be already dry. So. And 
usually when I tell people to, we're going to use the same color, use on the background, they're like, what? Why? <laughs> but oh, that's just the smartest thing I've that, ever heard of. <laughs> that's just the method that I usually use. Um, some people use like Mod, Mod Podge. You can do that. Um, I have used that before, but I have had it bleed underneath and then when I've stenciled the color on top you can actually see like when the light hits it you can kind of see a little bit of that oh, clear yeah. um, sheen even though I use matte um, so the same color paint if you have it um, but if you're, if you're doing like a stained background then I'll use the clear sometimes you want to wipe that? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see it I dripped on her table <laughs> And just like that, it's like it never existed. <laughs> so you don't wear an apron, huh? <laughs> I have aprons. I just always forget to put one on. So no. <laughs> I think it, I think it's like the the key to my creative energy. I must have on apron. Either either it's the key to the creative energy, or I'm tired of ruining all my clothes. <laughs> I, yeah, a lot of my stuff has paint marks on it. I still get paint on me. Amy does workshops here in uh, DeRitter, Louisiana and it's a fun time. <laughs> I think they uh, some churches have done some fundraisers which was fabulous and it's uh, we're about to do one here. They're uh, all the staff at uh, at Get Healthy and Java Joe's are getting together and on a Sunday and uh, gonna do a sign class and we actually each get to pick what we want so that's a pretty cool thing too. So if you are uh, local to this area, it's a fun thing to do with your coworkers, your friends, your church friends, your children, grown children, grandchildren, <laughs> <laughs> or to order custom things. Uh, you know, to have made. Do you ship? I, I do ship. Okay. I can ship. Um, oh. I don't ship a lot, but yes, we can ship. Awesome. Just because some of the bigger things can get kind of pricey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um... She must have really good um, eyes. She can see from that far. It looks like the wrong side is down. It must be the camera. <laughs> yep, no, it's the, it's the right side down. Now, me and my iPhone here have a love-hate relationship, so I don't know. I love it. I don't know what I would, I would ever do without it, but um, the videos are not always exactly how I want them to be. And I'm afraid because we're, you know, part of that probably is we have the, uh, instead of just having the camera itself pointing toward us, we have the back-facing camera front-facing camera we have it to where we can see the screen so that we can read your comments and uh, instead of having it point in the other direction so this probably if we would have done that and done it the other way it would have been right side up but um, then we wouldn't be able to know you were here and say hey <laughs> so I guess it's the lesser of the evils I'll try at the at the end when we're done to uh, Take the yeah, phone down and go the uh, other direction yeah, and let you it see it. It should just look like the words are backwards. Yeah. But it says farmer's market. Farm to table. Always fresh. Farmer's market. Dairy, produce, dry goods. So that's what it says in case y'all can't read it. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's awesome for a, a farmhouse style table, which is the goal I'm going for even though it's red. can't wait to see the results. Thank, thank you, Sandy. I'm so excited too. And thank you, Janet, for uh, letting us know that it was looking backwards. So there is a bit more attention to detail. It's going to get you a lot uh, further than throwing it down there, thinking you got it going on because it's looking easy. Um, that's a professional tip that I see from watching Amy is stop and take a minute during each step of the process when you're <laughs> peeling off each part of the back make sure that it's all coming off when you're peeling off the front the same and this little detail of uh, going through and making sure that she's using the same color the base color back over it to prevent 
uh, the bleeding from the black being as likely to happen because right. the black is next. I think we got it all. Okay, should I blow dry over it just a second? Just you can. Case? It actually looks yeah, it almost looks like it's dry. dry. It's it's paint. Paint. It's 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 paint. We're gonna dry it. God, I have all these fancy drying apparatus, <laughs> different tools and things. That, that blow dryer is the best thing I ever bought. Okay, now that we've used this okay. again. Yeah. Do you want to do some? Because we can cut that one in half. I wasn't thinking we only brought two. No, I was I'll, thinking uh, one for uh, you. Yeah. And one for you, but I yeah, forgot about then, the red. Now we didn't dirty one up with the red. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to let, let you me do watch it. because I'm afraid. <laughs> unless you don't want to, then. I don't know. That's fine. I'm going to actually try to put a little bit of paint on here <laughs> oh. so we don't have to keep I'm scared I'm going to. Even if even if it was to drip, that's part reason that why I went with, I'm going with black <laughs> on top and I went with black in the seams here with the wax and all that was if there's a mistake, we act like it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have a new sponge and we're just going to. This is the back of my stencil paper. That's what I always use. I used to use paper plates, and then this Look is, this is save like it's a recycle. Yeah, so <laughs> I use my my um, paper backing from the stencil. So so light coats. That's the key. Not a lot of paint. So like three light coats is better than one thick coat. And we're doing this. That was a uh, Dixie Belle honky tonk red which has its own sealer in it that we did the bottom with. And now we're going on with uh, DIY paint, the clay-based paint in uh, black velvet. And since I'm gonna be top coating and waxing and all this later, it would be good. This would have not been the preferred paint if I was not gonna put another top coat over it. But because it is a tabletop, and if we, you know, you know it gets a lot of use, you can't really go overboard with all the top coats. So we'll be sealing this with a top coat uh, probably after lunch and then uh, waxing to get the all the close-up crevices to look the same as the rest of the table and then once that dries I'll probably come back Monday and put one more coat of uh, gator hide which is the strongest of the Dixie Belle top coats uh, on there to you know doubly make sure that whoever gets this table in their home doesn't say that old Terry gave me a crappy table without enough <laughs> top coats on top <laughs> We're gonna try. So you're just dabbing. Just dabbing up and down. You don't wanna rub it. So you don't wanna lift up any part of the stencil. Yeah, that's working so much better than my old brush, but now, now uh, my granddaughter, Jewel, is here. Jewel, you're gonna have to remind me to go get some of these makeup sponges. <laughs> we'll, we'll go get some of those. All uh, right. I guess at Walgreens, probably even the well, Dollar Tree. I think huh? the Dollar Tree even. Yeah. Had, I know some people have um, some of the groups I'm in buying at the Dollar. I ordered these from Amazon because I needed a bunch. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. So I ordered like I don't know, 250 probably. <laughs> and you can like once you use this, you could cut the end off and keep reusing it. I never do that. I'm wasteful. I just throw it away. But they're so tiny. I bet I can see where you know if you were thinking cut expenses. Yeah. <laughs> And be. But I like the fact that I can just throw everything away yeah. when I'm done. I don't use, I even use foam. When I use a paintbrush for background, I use foam. I throw that away. I'm not oh, into wow. cleaning brushes. <laughs> I use these El Cheapos that I get wholesale for 33 cents and wash them and use them to absolute death. Then I cut the tips off of them and use them some more. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible at washing paintbrushes. I mean, I've bought good paintbrushes and I ruin them every single time. My husband told me the other day, he's, he's like, what are you doing? You know people throw those brushes away. I'm like, no, no, they don't. Not in my circle. <laughs> Now, foam brushes, I do use them on some projects, and I, and I do throw those away, and I'm so thankful. I'm so <laughs> thankful when I get to do that. And in my instance, I want, I, I want to claim I'm saving the environment, but really, I never want to be poor again. <laughs> so, so I'm thinking, 
I'm, I'm doing my best to not be like my daddy and rinse out the Ziploc bags. But oh my gosh. <laughs> he did too. <laughs> that sounds like something my husband would do. <laughs> he hasn't, but it sounds like something. Yeah. <laughs> don't frugal, don't give him the frugal, good idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am thankful for his frugalness. Though. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know there's there's so many that think, oh, I want to go fishing. Next thing you know, you got a forty thousand dollar boat and a tackle habit. <laughs> yeah. This paint dries really, really quickly too. Uh, I think y'all can probably see that there where this is already looking gray and this is a lighter black. And part of that is with the clay based. It is. Uh, it is drying out that quick, but it uh, changes colors like that, uh, not just to let us know it's dry, but that's, you know, the moisture leaving the paint, and that's part of why we have to put a top coat on it, because they don't have anything in it that's going to make it be sealed and be continued to look wet or covered or whatever. So in these areas where the the deeper ridges are through there, that's where she said, uh, don't make it go in there too deep, you know, go over it. And if some gets in there, hooray, but don't force it in there because you might be forcing some under it or something like that. And we'll touch that up with like a tiny yeah, artist Yeah, we'll probably brush. come back with a paintbrush and add a little bit of black for the, cause like this is right in the middle of the yeah. R. Will we do that while so the still the, on um, there? Nah, we can do that. I usually just do that free-handed after. after. Okay. I might need a little black to get a little okay. bit more black. This is such a, a cute stencil. Now, is this a reusable stencil? Or are these the top that you throw the away? The stencil itself is a throwaway. That's one time. That I think having having because I've made stencils at home at other stencil material type stuff that like it's not exactly mylar but kind of a plastic yeah. stuff. And then I got to deal with where am I going to put the huge thing? And I, <laughs> and, I and I it. do <laughs> have some of them, but uh, um, I never want to use the same one twice, so that that doesn't too much happen. But they don't stick down, and I know you can buy the spray adhesive mm -hmm. for sticking them down. And I have, you know, probably three or four cans of the spray adhesive from doing different projects. But I'm always afraid that's going to leave a residue yeah, on my project. I've never tried a reusable one, so I don't. It well, it you know, it doesn't stick down, so there's so much chance of you know bleed through and things like that that uh, you know it has to be uh, something that's going to be, in my opinion, that's going to be uh, sort of shabby looking because there's going to be mistakes. I made a few stencils like that uh, for my laundry room because I thought I wanted to decorate my laundry room, and and I did, but I sure ain't going to show it too much to my crafty friends. <laughs> I'm burning up in here. This is Louisiana weather. You think, oh, I hope they turn the heater on. Yeah. And then you get to work and think, man, it's hot in here. I know. I was hoping it was going to stay cold like last week. I, like it. I don't like cold at all, you know? <laughs> but I would sure rather have my short sleeves on in here right now. <laughs> I'm going to go check that while you're finishing that up.
I like the cold, but I don't like it when it's that you wake up and it's cold and then oh, by noon yeah. you got to like start shedding layers of clothes because mm -hmm. it's 80 degrees again. Yeah. yeah. I don't like it when it's like that's that. Typical, <laughs> that's, that's typical. Yep. Typical winter here. You need some more? Just have this little corner oh, this right, right here. Too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably need a little more of that. And again, these little corners, I'm just using that to offload some of the paint. You'll see me dip back in it. That's not part of the design, that's just extra paint. Yeah, that's smart use of your resources, not having to worry about sticking your elbow in a paint <laughs> plate full of paint. <laughs> that would be me. Now do you wait until the paint is completely dry or just when to you're done? To remove the stencil, I usually off. remove it immediately. I don't ever wait for it to dry. This is pretty much actually almost dry. Um, we're probably gonna do I don't know I'll leave that up to Terry she's I know she's kind of going for more farmhousey uh look so it it not being like solid black is okay because it's gonna be kind of old looking um we can do a second layer if you want because um, right now it's kind of you can see kind of the yeah let's the go ahead of the red and, yeah go ahead and put a little bit more on on okay. yeah That gives me a little bit of a of a, a crutch in case I you know want to sand something or whatever later. Although you know, so that would that was a choice that you make yourself too. Is is how? Let me see if I can lean it forward that you can see. If you look at the, uh, don't know if that's going to make a difference. If you look at the letters, you can still see a tad because it's such a thin coat. You can still see a, a tad of the red through there. And if you were wanting it to be uh, lightly coated and, uh, you know, for the farmhouse look and not like solid black, woohoo, there's a sign in the middle of your table, then that would have been perfect. But because I want to make sure y'all can see it good and, and because I know that I can come back and if I change my mind and go, man, I wish I'd have told her to just leave that alone, I can lightly sand over it and, uh, or I could dab it w w with this DIY paint, I could dab it with a, a baby wipe or something and it's not gonna, because this other has already been top coated, it's not gonna pull anything else up, but I could wet distress. Do y'all have any questions or anything? Have you stenciled uh, a lot? Have, are you thinking about stenciling? Are you ready to paint your dining table red? <laughs> <laughs> if you're enjoying uh, seeing the stenciling demonstration, I hope you'll give us some hearts and some shares. That really helps small businesses whenever you give us hearts. It lets our videos and our posts get seen by other people. That's how Facebook decides how many people to, uh, thank you Jewel, how many people to uh, mm -hmm. show your posts to. So anytime we can get hearts and shares, that helps us as a business. Hi Sandra, thanks for joining us. We're putting Amy is uh, now putting a second coat. Even though we want this to be a farmhouse style, I made the last minute decision to let's go ahead and have this be good and dark on here. And uh, she's going back over where you could see a little bit on some of the letters, the red through there, because she's only dabbing on small amounts of paint. Uh, to get a thin layer so it'll dry really fast. But uh, she went through first and put uh, like a barrier coat of the honky tonk red, uh, which was the base of our table. And that was to 
help seal any potential uh, bleed through issues and things like that uh, without any white or something or clear shininess showing that might show with Mod Podge or a clear sealer or something like that. So I thought that was a fantastic tip. And uh, this, I am going for a farmhouse look here, but instead of leaving these slightly faded, which is an option, and then half of your work is, is done for you, um, I went ahead and decided, uh, since Amy's over there doing all the work, <laughs> <laughs> that we would go ahead and, and put on a second coat um, of the DIY black velvet because it still can be distressed later and I am still going to go over it distressed and put more top coats on the table over it. So I hope that y'all are enjoying it. I'm learning something and I'm so appreciative of Amy <laughs> for doing this for us. And, and I'm having a good time and you can't ever beat that when you go to work and have a good time. That's right. <laughs> I would have black paint up all my fingers and part way to my elbow by now. I'm so impressed with Amy not needing a, <laughs> an apron and leaning over all of that and it's not even covered the front of her shirt. It's not even up her fingers. It's, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I am grateful I can lean on the table. <laughs> Otherwise my back will be hurting. Yeah. Whenever I was putting the wax on here, I went over it with the clear wax first and then came back with the black wax and going through the crevices and other than I was sweating like some type of wild animal <laughs> in the summertime, my back was like, oh, this has got to finish soon. But the, it, I didn't have it to lean on at that time right. because I had the legs <laughs> under there, but they were only halfway bolted with a bolt of the wrong size. So my husband, yeah, I told I him, like, this weekend, that. we have got to get this table starting <laughs> before Amy watching. comes. Hi, Candy. Thanks for joining us. We are learning stuff without you. you got to catch the replay to get the beginning. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, look, I did get some of uh -huh. rubbed off on her. Oh. <laughs> and that's the good thing about the DIY bag. paint being water-based, too. You go wash your hands and it, <laughs> evidence disappears. Okay, I'm looking for spots that we missed or that might need a little extra... It dries so quick it's yeah. hard to tell if there's one I missed without I think seeing it, look, if it's, it looks uh, great now if you um, if you wanted to for sure make sure that it was gonna uh, you know come out black would well I'm, I'm sure you use a paint with an acrylic sealer in it and you would be able to tell but um, would you ever go is there a reason to ever go with a third coat or it, you're yeah, just you double checking do a, you could yeah. do a third coat if yeah. you wanted like that solid yeah solid yeah. black because I mean even those two coats I mean I could still up close I can still see that it's yeah. painted on which yeah yeah to me Are, if you're going to trouble to paint it you want it to look like it's painted and not like it's a vinyl yeah decal so. yeah that's true too yeah and there <laughs> and I used to not think there was too much difference uh, with that but now that like with my failure of my uh, <laughs> stencil last week and putting the vinyl on there of course it still looks good but I know it doesn't look like a handmade touch like like this is gonna look and and like I am well, there's, on that you know, there's there's times for both <laughs> times that both are good do you ever, with this kind of stencil, can you go over it with like a texturing mud or anything to give a little bit of a raise? Have you ever tried I've never that? I've tried it. I'm sure you can, but I've yeah. never tried it. It would be something to play around with. You want me to dry that a little bit, or that's so no, close to dry that you can just pull it I off anyway? Yeah, I usually pull it off wet. Um, Drum roll, please. You don't have any wipes in here, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> I just I do. don't want to touch or the no, table you know and get black. Uh, I brought them in here. To the, uh, the back painting room yesterday. I 
to clean my fingers before I start pulling the stencil up in case I accidentally touch the table. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And with this particular paint, if we had accidentally came way out here and got some that we didn't intend, you would use a baby wipe to clean that up as well. This is Mama. She's oh, okay. hey, Candy. <laughs> Make sure and give us some hearts and a share, Candy. That helps our business grow. Okay. Right. She's going to show us how to take now, it Now, remember, we have the groove, so there's going to be some spots where we don't oh, have the to letter some. together because of the groove, but we're going to touch that up at the end. But we're going to pull it off and, fingers crossed, just hope for the best. It's gonna come up good, so that's awesome. a plus. <laughs> so far, it looks like, great. Oh no, that E is staying. <laughs> so there will be parts that'll tear and um, stick, and that's okay. We're gonna come back and uh, get those. So don't freak out when it starts looking a little funky. I don't think I have a weeding tool. I brought a okay. couple. <laughs> Oh, and then you're going to be done with this. Jewel, well, you can get them for me. They're right next to my phone. The two, um, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so we got the, the big part off. We just have to pull out the um, middles of all the letters and then the parts that, that stuck. I've um, never used one of these. So I'm guessing don't push you so just hard that you, you don't want to gouge your wood. Yeah, you just <laughs> okay. want to be gentle. Woohoo, I did it. one. but it looks really good. I don't see where it bled at all. Yay. So that paint, I might have to get some of that paint. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know where you can over. get it. <laughs> at the artisan market at Get Healthy. Y'all know my eyesight's bad. I'm afraid to do too much. Okay. Let's see. If, if, if you're nervous, do it. I'll get them off. <laughs> I ain't nervous. I just can't see. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess that up. Here's one I can do. I keep thinking it's gonna pull up the letter and the letter is staying. Yay, this is so cool. Talk about eyesight, mine's gotten really bad. I really need to start <laughs> packing around some readers. <laughs> I I usually have readers hanging in the front of my shop. I have about being 40 right or now. over 40. Yeah, it slows down. I think maybe that, that's God's way of wanting us to slow down and we don't listen and want to keep going like we're young people. And that's why he gives us grandchildren to read to <laughs> us. I know there's some in those big ones, but I, I absolutely can't see that. And I do have my contact in, but I can't see it. Since the paint's pretty much dry, you can probably, yeah, see, I just scratched that a little bit on the black, so I do have to be careful with that. So this is weeding, and I can see where whoever invented that name got it. <laughs> this is not the fun part, but it should be therapeutic. <laughs> Just like weeding your garden. You get out the bad stuff, and you have all the pretty flowers and veggies and all the good stuff left over. scratched part of this one which doesn't matter because it's supposed to look that way and we're going to be touching up anyway I oh, forgive me I can't see it Joy you want to do a piece just no <laughs> Joel waits for her mom at home so I know she's got good eyesight and knows how for because candy makes all of our shirts for work y'all should be doing Christmas shirts any second now. I got the coolest uh, HTV vinyl for that and, and it's a uh, holo hologram where it's like silver glitter but w depending on which direction you turn uh, it looks a different color. I can't see it. I 
I knew she would do it. You were scratching the thing on it. You weren't even. <laughs> This is so cute. I, I am tempted to bring it home, and I know my husband would kill me because, well, he may not. I don't know. He's he's easing up in his, uh, his he turned 50 this year, month last month. He's he's easing up a little bit in his ooh, older age. <laughs> For somebody who loves color as much as I do, a large majority of our Decor is extremely neutral. Watch my phone. But not for long. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something like a big bright yellow and green entertainment center <laughs> and tote it home and have it set up before he knows what hit him. <laughs> I did that with a stove here recently. I never knew I knew how to take a stove out, but by the time he got home I had the old stove out and sitting in the sunroom and the new stove pushed in there. Loving this, Sandy. Oh, thank you so much, Sandy. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it too. I'm having a good time. Amy's. Well, now they're doing all this the is work the again, and I'm part, and talking. You gotta just, yeah, it takes a little bit of patience. You know what? I think that probably lowers your blood pressure. But it's, and it's, it's the rewarding part yeah. because you get to see the finished um, product at the end. So. But some of these letters are really tiny. So. Yeah, that definitely. I, I keep thinking it's going to pick up the rest of the A, that my mind isn't wrapped around uh, all the coolness of what has transpired before our eyes. I would have been scared to death, me, with my old ways to try to do the letters uh, with the little holes in them that I would have yeah. messed something up. Well, confession, the, <laughs> these letters, the market actually had the same design <laughs> in it, but when I was weeding it, I decided that they were just too small. It increased the risk of it not working out right, oh, I guess is what smart. I'm saying. So yeah, I was like, that, eh, it looks I great. think it'll look better if I just pull those out and what let it be another solid. Smart tip, so. because We'd be liable to be having a yeah, mess. So it was the same as these, but they were just really tiny. Yeah. Um, so that was really got it all, I think. Yeah. I think Boy, we got it, it all. So good. So, and it's dry. Um, now, as far as like going in and touching this up, that's going to be up to you. Uh, okay. You may get me. Yeah, I mean, I it don't has know whether to do it. It or has or not the grooves, which yeah. are obvious. So if yeah. it were, and the grooves are going to have some of this black here and there in it that I'm putting well, with the wax. So, so maybe I should wanna, just leave um, that alone, and you know. So that would be your choice too, your, if you were doing something with a groove like this, is whether to now because I got this out a little brush, and I have, we have the paint still here, and I could have come in here and finished out this Y and here and finished out this line and here on the A and that's what you would do if you had that uh, funky looking stencil like the one I made. Uh, you would have to do that because it would be in the middle of your letters going the other direction but with uh, this one like Amy made I, I think with the gaps there I think I'm going to leave it alone because like I said we, you know, like she's saying we would just touch up here to make that perfect if it was flat that probably wouldn't have happened to begin with but I think because my grooves are going to have the black in it from the wax that I'm going to leave it alone and that's going to be part of the time worn look that it's going to have right so it's you know because it's planks that would have you know I guess naturally been there <laughs> way back when this was painted you know vintage <laughs> years ago they were together and painted and then they got taken apart and made into a table so there's going to be a space where yeah. that naturally happens so she said Sandy said looks great I'd leave it <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing that, Sandy. Well, That's what I think really I'm going to do. I'm going to retire this El Cheapo brush here 
and my little short one. And at lunchtime, I'm going to go buy me some of those makeup sponges. And I'm going to be an expert. <laughs> I think on this one, Miss Terry, if you're going to sand it at all, I think it would do very, very, very light. I will probably, Because it looks, I mean, it feels like it comes off really yeah, easily. Yeah, just, yeah. If, if so I, I was just to wipe barely, this right now, this is what so good and bad. <laughs> if I was to take one of those baby wops, we would wipe every off. bit of this paint off right now with okay. it not having a sealer. So even before, if I am going to do any, and I don't think I am any, I'm, what I'm going to do is instead of distressing with a sandpaper on this, is I'm going to do aging by adding the dark wax in the crevices. So I think that's, that's going to give us what we want. And uh, this will look darker once we put a look, you know, it, it will bring it back to the original, you know, black of and stronger, but I think that because the rest of the table's aged, I think somebody's going to love this, and I'm so <laughs> proud, and I'm so thankful for Amy. I learned so much no, today, no and uh, look her up and like her page. <laughs> it's uh, Favored Nest, and her website is favorednest.com. I do put a lot on there, but it's there. Yeah, you can contact her workshops. I do put them on there so that people can sign up, but yeah. right now I don't have anything scheduled because the holidays just are Crazy. But she, you know, she can, you know, uh, give you a quote on something custom uh, and check on the shipping, you know, to make sure that it's, you know, cost prohibitive for you if you wanted her to do something for you. Have you ever, uh, like, made stencils for people and not done their project mm -hmm. but mail them that? Yeah, I have. That's something I want to get into more. So oh, right yeah. now I don't have any listed on there, but if somebody wants a stencil, I can definitely cut a stencil. And another thing that I've worked on I was gonna tell you this I'm just gonna say it now <laughs> um, I just got some boxes in so I'm hoping that for the people that are local if you want to stop by the artisan market I'll have some little kits oh, some smaller cool. um, with just like the wood pieces um, a stencil paint everything that you need to do a project oh, so I, ha so I have um, I think I got nine inch boxes and 12 inch boxes so they'll be small projects but um, Cute, uh, That's cute awesome. size to try it out and see. If, if you my like kids it or not. are still watching, I saw candy <laughs> on there a while ago. Expect us to be doing that at yeah, the next get together. Got, um, just got my boxes in Saturday, so I just oh, unpacked them last fun. night. They're little pizza boxes, so they'll be um, awesome. hopefully cute by the time I get it all. Well, I'm going to want to look at your list for that for sure, and maybe me and my BFFK, <laughs> who was here a little while ago, and my friend Teresa uh, and our friend Sherry, we like to get together and do uh, crafty things. Maybe uh, we'll figure out a design and get you to do them and just get some of your little kits and uh, have a girl stay and have everything there. That's awesome. What a great idea. Okay. Well, thank y'all and please uh, like Amy's page to give us some hearts, share, and send us pictures whenever you, if you do a stencil or have done a stencil or if you have questions or comments on this, uh, Shoot them on here. Let us see the pictures and let us see the comments. And we appreciate you watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye.